<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, I've had a thought process in my head for a few years, and it's time to go ahead and connect these dots and explain the parallel between the American black woman, the vast majority, and the white feminist. Now, this is going to be a heavy rant, so if you're going to get into your feelings, hey, go ahead, unsubscribe. I might lose some subscribers with this one, but hey, it's a conversation that needs to be had. Now, what do I mean by the American black woman and the white feminist parallel? Now, we have to go ahead and talk about the two boogeymen that each of these groups love to throw out and tell men of their particular tribe that they have to fight. Black women, white supremacy. White feminists, the patriarchy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, gentlemen. Like I said, this is going to be a heavy one. Now, let's start with the white feminist. Their boogeyman, the patriarchy. Oh, we need to smash the patriarchy. If women were in charge, the world would be a better place. Blah, 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 blah. Now, when you pull back and look at the entire scenario, this has been nothing more than one huge gaslighting propaganda experiment aimed toward men. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, first and foremost, when you look at the true patriarchy, as I call it, they are the ultra elites. They're the ones who are actually running things behind the scenes. They're the ones who are actually putting the laws in place. Now, when it comes to every group of men who fall under quote unquote patriarchy, which let's be honest, when it comes to black American men, they have never had a patriarchy, but we're going to get into that later. However, these feminists are so far gone in their thinking that they will accuse every man and boy just because of our, you know, anatomy that, oh, you're part of the patriarchy. Yeah, there have been instances where little girls have told little boys that they're part of the patriarchy. And the little boy is like, what? What the hell is a patriarchy? I just want to play with my Tonka trucks. But once again, that is that feminist programming that women pass on to each other, especially younger and younger girls, to the point that now you have little girls who are openly threatening little boys with quote unquote harassment charges who've become false alligators. Shout out to CGA for that one. Yes, you've had little girls falsely accused little boys of some sort of harassment to the point that those little boys would be punished. And these little boys are like, what the hell did I do? I'm just trying to be a boy. I'm just trying to live my life. But oh, no, 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 no. That feminist brainwashing has gone so damn far. Let's just call it what it is. It is outright male hatred, a.k.a. misandry. Don't believe me? There are far too many examples for me to even try to go through. But like I said, when you've gotten to the point that little girls are talking about the patriarchy, things have gone entirely too damn far. But, but here's the real question. How is it that the feminists 
are saying that they want to get rid of the patriarchy, but yet and still, when things go bad, who do they run to? That's right. They run to men and hope that these men will white knight for them and protect them from other men. So much for equality. <laughs> now, gentlemen, let's move on to the black women, the American black woman and white supremacy, her boogeyman. Now, let's be crystal clear about something. When it comes to racism, it's never really going to be eradicated from America. It just is what it is. Racism is American as American as apple pie. It's baked into the culture. Now, you have the overt racist, which in my humble opinion, they are the absolute joke. They are. That situation with, um, I hate to say it, but F and F and that dude, uh, NF, this dude is a fucking joke. He truly is a joke. Now, when it comes to the racist, what is his primary motivation? Whenever you ask one, they never can give you a solid answer. Just like when it comes to the feminist. Okay, what's the patriarchy? They can never really give you a solid answer. However, when it comes to the American black woman, the vast majority, they love to talk about uh, white supremacy and black men need to fight white supremacy. Just like feminists tell you know all men that they need to fight against the patriarchy. However, however, how are you going to sit there and tell a group of men that they need to fight another group of men? while at the same time actually using said boogeyman to your advantage. Oops. Yeah, gentlemen, don't jump out the window for these women on either side of this coin. Don't. Now, insofar as the F and F situation, that right there, it showed you one thing. Just like the uh, feminists and the quote unquote patriarchy, far too many American black women have also benefited from, you know, white supremacy. But yet they want to continue to tell black men that they need to fight white supremacy. I find that absolutely ridiculous. Now, the vast majority of American black women will sit back and say, well, I've never participated in white supremacy. Let's go back to a famous quote from one Tommy Sotomayor. American black women are in fact the right hand of white supremacy. Boy, I remember when he first said that the internet went ballistic. Black women went absolutely apeshit. However, there are ways in which they unknowingly, and in some cases, blatantly were participants. Let's start off with the first way. The Great Society Program, aka Welfare, Lyndon B. Johnson's brainchild. Oh, yeah. So you can get these quote unquote benefits, but you can't have a man in the house. Now, Lyndon B. Johnson was an avowed racist. However, he was also a classist. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, everybody knows his infamous phrase, I'll keep these Negroes voting Democrat for the next 200 years. Unfortunately, that does seem to be the case. However, there's also another phrase that is attributed to him that is lesser known, but just as dangerous. 
Now, this is a classist phase. Here we go. If you could convince the lowest white man that he's better than the best colored man, he won't notice you picking his pockets. Hell, give him someone to look down on and he will freely give you his money. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to especially uh, lower and middle class whites, you may be on the same bench, but you're further down the bench. When it comes to the practice of quote unquote white supremacy, yeah, yeah. You may have the same skin, but you're not in the same position. Just saying, just saying. So yeah, the Great Society program. If black women have called the police on a black man, guess what? You've been an active participant in the same system that you say that black men should fight against. There are videos. There's a particular live screen where there are a panel of black women and they literally refer to black men as bullet bags. Yeah, that was one woman who was so egregious. She said, yes, I enjoy watching white police officers beat up black men. It gives me a charge. There are far too many black women who honestly feel that way, but they just won't say it. Everything that Cynthia G talks about. Yeah. Once again, there are far too many women who think just like her. And now they have the avenue to actually say those things. What's the next thing? Divorce. Any black woman who's divorced a black man has participated in that same damn system. Now, we all know that when it came to feminists, they openly said, yes, they want to destroy the nuclear family. However, the black community was definitely ground zero for the nuclear family to be destroyed. And look at the absolute disaster area that the quote unquote black communities have become. Oh, I'm not done. The next thing, early termination of black children. Every single black woman who has went through that procedure definitely participated in the same system that they say that black men should fight against. We all know that Margaret Sanger was definitely a racist. Remember her quote, gentlemen, we don't want it to get out that we're trying to exterminate the Negro population. Yeah, Planned Parenthood. Yeah, black women, if you've done that, then guess what? You participated in the same system that you're saying that American black men should fight against. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So, and there are far too many more cases of how American black women have actively participated in the quote unquote white supremacist system that they say that American black men need to fight against. Um, yeah, no, no, no. So gentlemen, all in all, what have, been, what have we been able to piece together with this rant? When it comes to the black, the American black woman, the vast majority, and it, when it comes to the American white feminist, both of them are saying that men of their tribes should fight against a system that actually benefits them. This is one big, huge gaslighting campaign. Gentlemen, don't fall for it, period, point blank. Especially now that when it comes to the American black woman, the vast majority, yeah, they're starting to get their wake up call. Feminists are getting their wake up call as well as more men have simply walked away on both sides of the coin. Yep, men across the board are walking away Black men are especially walking away. 
So yeah, they've never really wanted either one of these systems to be, you know, taken down because both of those systems actively protect them. Hey, I'm just calling it as it is. I'm just connecting the dots. You've had men on both sides of the coin talking about it. However, no one has actually put it all together and said, look, wait a minute. Feminists really don't want the patriarchy gone. Black women really don't want white supremacy ended because actually if both of those systems did quote unquote end, then guess what? There would be a whole lot of reckonings going on. Believe you me, hockey mask time would be on an epic scale. It truly would. Remember, the feminists, they use the law to keep men in line. Black women use law enforcement to keep black men in line. So until both of those things are rectified, hey, the best course of action that men on both sides of the coin can do, vote with your feet, walk away, leave these raggedy women on both sides to their devices because trust and believe nothing is sustainable forever. It is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Let me know what you guys think. Am I correct in my assumption? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have I completely lost my rabbit ass mind? Let me know in the comments section. And please don't hold back. However, however, this is not a race baiting conversation. So if you feel like that's going to be where you're going to go, don't even comment. But all in all, women on both sides of this coin, the vast majority of American black women and the white feminist, you need to understand this and you need to understand this because this scenario is quickly approaching. The power you think you have by being quote unquote victims of your personal boogeyman that power is going out. Feminism and the idea that uh, men need to fight against it and white supremacy and the idea that black need to, men need to fight against it, excuse me, those thought processes are going out right along with it because as more and more men on both sides of the coin wake up, they're starting to realize that you know racism and feminism is all part of the gynocentric plantation. And guess what? They're not wasting their time by being there. They're voting with their damn feet. Passport brothers up. That's right, ladies. The passport has been made into the ultimate skeleton key for a lot of men. And guess what? They're getting the fuck out of Dodge. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am.